Well, with rain chances nearly every day now this week, there is some worry about flash flooding at our creeks and river crossings. Of course, we need that rain, so that could be a good thing, but it could also be dangerous. Six News anchor Bailey Bates is live tonight in studio with a message from first responders. Bailey, you had a little fun today out there on the I water. I did. I think I got a little bit of sunburnt too, Chris. But the Wiggle Fire Department is asking everyone to be prepared and just take things slow when water does move in. And while you are preparing, so are they. That time of the year again. People are out enjoying the beauty of the Brazos River. For some, it's recreational yeah, time, but for others. We're getting ready for the possibility of floods or, or swift water conditions. So we're out here training. It's necessary work. I'm an instructor for the swift water. Lieutenant Billy Erie with the Waco Fire Department is making sure the members of the technical rescue team are ready for the next season of water rescues. So we only have one shot at getting someone out of a dangerous situation. And so we want to make sure that we, we do the best that we can with that shot. It takes extreme training to get them ready. And with days of rain in the forecast, now's the time. We would rather train in very swift water because the more difficult the training, the better we will be. Working yeah. with the conditions they have to practice for when the calls come. So that we don't have to put somebody in a dangerous situation, we have rescue routes. From getting reps in on the tiller to practicing their rescue maneuvers. So that's called a J turn. Erie says creeks and rivers are concerning spots with flooding, but so are drainage ditches. And that's always the biggest fear that we have is of kids playing in these drainage ditches and getting swept away. The best thing you can do is have patience and respect the power of water. It can be seen very calm on the top and it's got a, a very strong current underneath. If you can't see the ground, don't drive through it. Go somewhere and wait until the water recedes. But they're ready to rise to the occasion. If you don't have to be in it, don't get in it. Uh, and if you need help, call us and we will come. The technical rescue team does see an increase in water rescue calls during this time of the year, whether it stems from flooding, flash flooding, swift water, or unfortunately drownings. They're equipped and ready to answer the call for help, but they just want you to be prepared and take that caution. Yeah, and that's the big part of it, Bailey, is the preparation can save lives. So I'm glad they're out there doing it. You did a great job filming that today and tagging along with them. Thanks for the update, Bailey.